Did you hear that? This meeting is being recorded. You see, I just started my recording, and I also started my uh, uh, my uh, Facebook page. So we're we're going. And oh boy, I didn't. I wondered whether we would have anybody today. But looky, looky, looky. Here we go. Uh, let me see here. First, we've got Rick Sheckman, and we've got. Uh, uh, Mike Chisholm, and we've got Steve Bender, and we've got uh, uh, Boddicker, uh, Scott Boddicker, and we've got Charlie Wallace, and we've got Andrew Deutsch. Boy, uh, you can release your video order here. What, what's that? I guess I can change the video order or something. Let me see how we're doing here with Facebook just to make sure that we're on. I have to technologically figure this whole thing out, make sure it's okay. Uh, let me see here. Yep, I'm, 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 where, where is it? Um, You're a one-man show, Alex, but a great man that is. Yes, right. One-man show. Oh, there we go. Uh, there it is. Okay, we're on. We're doing fine. Anyway, hello, everybody. How are you? Uh, I didn't, I, I, everybody said to me, you're going to do a show on Memorial Day. And I went, yeah, sure. Why not? I got nothing else to do with my fucking life. And, okay. and, and more than that, uh, uh, as, uh, there's some people who like this, you know, like doing it. Andrew Deutsch would miss it, right, Andrew? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What, 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 what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would, I would. <laughs> now, every time, time I see you there, there's a picture behind you of a, a conference room. That's not your conference room, is it? No, it's not. It was you. You want me to change it? No, it's okay. I just, you there, always, we'll just... oh, oh, no. Well, what we can do is have you record there like that, and then I can make you full screen, and then people can put things behind you. Yeah. After well, the fact, you know. You can go to Stonehenge. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Let's see what else you got. Let's see what else is on here. Uh, my dogs. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. That's a classic. Yeah, there's what? Oh, I'm looking looking to see what else I got handy. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. This is where I this is my actual room. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah. Hello, Shecky. How are you doing today? Good. Just finished up Lucifer, so move on to another show. Yeah, yeah, me, I, me I was, too. I, I watch Lucifer. Uh, I, you know, it's our one of our favorite shows. What did you think of it this year? So, for this year? it was getting very wacky, but I thought it was a good season. It was getting what? Wacky. 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 Yeah, I, um, I, I, here's what I felt with it is that so far I've only watched, I, I still have three episodes to go. Okay. But I like all the episodes with God in it, you know. But when he disappeared for a couple of episodes, I went, eh, you know, the, the fun is, is gone out of the show. You know, they, they, they lost a whole level of jokes they could pull. Well, the final episode of this season was actually filmed as part of the sixth season. It was filmed as part of the sixth season? Yeah, it was supposed to end with the episode, whatever, the one before that. The one before the last episode. Yeah. yeah so there's one ep extra episode from the next year they've already run. Yes. Well, they also, what happened with the series, I don't know, people, some people here don't care because they don't, how many here watch it? <laughs> you do. I watched it all the way to the end. Yeah, yeah, Jackie does. Do you, Charlie, do you watch it? I watch it, but I haven't watched this season yet. Yeah, well, we won't try to ruin it for you. Well, so I'm not saying what, you know. Yeah, because I haven't seen the end of it yet. I would probably do that tonight. I, I wasn't too happy with the episode with uh, what's-his-name going down to Mexico and getting into all kinds of trouble. I kind of sped through that one. I don't know why. Well, again, I, I say that's one of the <laughs> wacky episodes. Yeah, I almost stopped watching after the musical one. Well, and I like, today I'll watch the rest of it. I like the musical one. Oddly enough. And then it'd have been better if it wasn't a musical. The guy who plays Dan directed two episodes of next season. Oh, okay. Uh, the uh, the thing is that um, um, uh, the musical episode reminded me of an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That was a good one. Where it became, a, all of a sudden, the whole thing was a musical. 
uh, and and kind of the same premise of sorts. In this case, it's God making everybody sing and dance. You know. uh, in case nobody watches Lucifer, Lucifer is the devil. He is the son of God, banished to hell, to rule hell, comes to L.A., decides to run a bar, a nightclub, and then uh, helps a cop with her week-to-week -week adventures in solving crime. The detective. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, uh, I, I happen to, uh, we happen to really like the show. And then, but this year, I, I just felt maybe they, they had no real direction when they didn't have God around. That was a good direction, you know. That's how I feel every fucking day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I told I told Charlie and Rick about a show on Amazon called Louder yeah. Milk. Yeah. It's to me, it was the funniest, absolutely the funniest show I've seen in in years. What's it on? It's, it's on uh, Amazon Prime. It was there was a network, I guess, called Applause that had two seasons of it before they crashed, but they had already filmed a third. So Amazon, like the first two, bought all three and are broadcasting it. It is so wrong on every level. It's brilliant. <laughs> Loud milk. I gotta write that. Loud you 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 you'll thank me. <laughs> I have to write everything down. Yeah. It, one of the Farrelly brothers wrote it with another guy, um, Mott. Uh, I can't think of his name. But uh, yeah, well, you know, it's just at this point of the year, so many of these series are dropping. Like I looked today on one of my sites, Call the Midwife, the new season was there. So yeah. that's another seven hours of my life I'll never get back. <laughs> <laughs> that show's entertaining. Well, I, oh, wait a minute. I, I, I hit Len the Frisco and he's still trying to join. Hmm. Okay. Well, Len, if you're listening, uh, join us. You are now joinable. Um, yeah, but I felt that, uh, uh, you know, I like Lucifer. I mean, it's just, I love Lucifer. Uh, I uh, I love Lucy. His his nickname is Lucy. Uh, he I, I like the show. I mean I think it's a great show. But I you know this year it's it, it's kind of you know it, it was wandering around a little bit in the wilderness. Well, they were winding down because they were not going to have a sixth season. Yeah, yeah. This was supposed to be the last season. So I imagine when they wrote the end of this season, they wrote it as a big goodbye. We'll see you later. Everything <laughs> nice knowing you. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah. So what? How did they didn't have everything resolve itself, right? Well, we're not going to tell you. It'd ruin it for you. I'm not going to say they, anything. They got the word <laughs> that they were being renewed for a fifth year, a sixth year rather. Uh, one day before they were set to start filming the the final episode, right? Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, so, it, yeah. the last the last thing Lucifer gets into the Millennium Falcon and goes to uh, Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Good. Yeah. I've never, I've never, I've never seen it, so, so this is totally uninteresting to me. You might, you might. Actually... You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but is it as, is it as Joss Whedon esque as you're making it? You make it sound like it sounds like yeah. Angel be having this detective agency in L.A. No, no, no. In this case, no. this is the. You know what it's more based on is the old Frederick March movie, Devil Takes a Hot. The, the, the Death the, Takes a Holiday. Satan Takes a Holiday. What was Death yeah. Takes a Holiday? In which uh, the uh, the devil comes to earth, and while he's here, nobody in the world dies because he's on vacation. Um, in this case, he's just sick and tired of hell. He's been reigning over it for what thousands of years, and he can't stand it anymore. So he comes to L.A. and opens up a uh, a bar. A bar. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. and then he meets up with this detective, and he becomes kind of a consultant to the detective. And uh, they. Uh, there's the the crime of the week but there's also the overarching plot of him being you know and it was done by neil gaiman who's a very good writer uh and uh it uh it's really a, a better show than you imagine it would be good way to describe it rick oh yeah yeah and now yeah. we can move on to the kaminsky method <laughs> yeah. that was good watching that the kaminsky yeah, method i'm gonna hear watch the kaminsky method Ah, there we go. Well, we got something we can all talk about, except for Lynn LaFrisco. Uh, I'll leave. Uh, no, stick around. We don't mind. Uh, the Kaminsky method, uh, I think, was superb in its last season. Yeah. I've never seen a better wrap-up to a series in recent memory. Am I right? 
Yeah. They, they nailed the final episode, which is you yeah. complained to me. They never seem to do on shows. It's like like the uh, the uh, gymnast tumbling, 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 and doing a perfect <laughs> land. You know, they did. They did a very perfect landing in that show. And even had Morgan Freeman on it. And had yes. Morgan Freeman on it. Uh, on on uh, on Lucifer, if we go back. To they that, have a different but, god on Lucifer. Well, they have a different god on Lucifer. They had to get the guy you get when you can't get Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Dennis Haysbert. Okay, he's perfect. Yeah. He's wonderful. You know, but um, uh, I just I, I thought the Kaminsky method. I wondered how they were going to do it without Alan Arkin. And the point, in point, in fact, he's there all the time. There's his presence is there. Yeah. You know. And they did a, you know, Chuck Lorre, I think is brilliant. And he did it, yep. he wrote every episode and he did a brilliant job of, of take, bringing this wonderful series to a close where you go, yeah, I wish there were more, but this is enough to satisfy me, you know? Well, three seasons, sometimes that's enough. You know something, a lot of series should learn that. <laughs> How many series go into a fourth season and you're going, okay, now. I mean, you go to some of those little Arrowverse shows. God damn it. Flash in <laughs> 50 years started getting gr grueling. And by the sixth, I wasn't even watching it anymore. So you didn't watch the Friends reunion? <laughs> <laughs> that I haven't watched yet. Hey, I thought they did a phenomenal job of that. I thought that was masterful how they did, how they crafted the 90 minute Friends uh, uh, reunion. I, I thought they did a great job of that. Hmm. But who cares? Right. I, I, I watched it. I a watched lot it of people. A lot of people. That show, a hundred, like, I could not believe the numbers. When they were going down the numbers of that show, that that show has been viewed, when you take into consideration all the streaming services, a hundred billion times. What a number <laughs> that That's well, you know, something. It would have been a hundred <laughs> billion and one if I had just watched one. <laughs> I was going to say it's a hundred billion times more than I watched it. <laughs> I I never watched a single episode of Frank. Me neither. It's no. a good show. Nothing great, but it was episode. a good show. Well, I yeah. considered it a kind of Seinfeld ripoff. Mm. You know. I would say more cheers because yeah, Seinfeld didn't cheers. really have that Seinfeld didn't have a Sam Diane kind of element, whereas a lot of folks got invested in that whole Ross Rachel dynamic and then two of the other friends as well. And and it was pretty it was it was well yeah. that's what I liked about Seinfeld. They wouldn't yeah. lower themselves to that. <laughs> the other week we were talking about yuppies and that show just always represented to me, you know, yuppie scum, line them against the wall and kill them all. <laughs> You never, never would watch an episode of it. Really? Which, which, yeah. what, what were you saying? Which one? Friends. Oh, friends. Yeah. I just, yeah. I never watched a single episode of it. You know what? I never watched yeah, a single episode of. I was mentioning this. Maybe did, did I mention this to you, Shecky? I've never, I never watched an episode of Gunsmoke. Oh, I'm looking at <laughs> You know. Yeah, I have a great radio show. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I was on the radio show. It, Brian? Brian. My mom. Hey, how's your head, man? Are you okay? My, oh, my, my head's okay. Right here. Here somewhere. Okay. What happened? You, you guys can hear me, huh? Yeah, we, yeah. we have we have hard there's uh, like no Wi-Fi here, but I guess we got something. So well you got your phone. You know, you you're doing it through your phone. Yeah, is this way better? No. Uh, yeah, there. Oh yeah. There you go. And he, uh, he's at the beach, ladies. But that Zoom background looks terrible. You see my hand. Those fake backgrounds suck. There we go. Is that half moon bag? <laughs> Where are you? At, Where are you exactly on this memorial? Uh -oh. Oh, oh, there he goes. Gone. That's where he is. I'm warm. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Move, move. He's faking a bad connection, so we don't know that background's fake. Move your phone a little bit. Move. Uh, uh, <laughs> Change your position. What? There's Adrian. You forgot. Uh, Adrian. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to say hi. Happy Memorial Day. I'll see you guys later. I know the reception's quite bad. Where so. are you? Where are you then? Where? We're uh, south of Santa Cruz, south of Capitola. Uh -huh. So it's a uh, Sea Cliff Beach. Yeah. And right. is Adrian there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, Adrian. Come here. Yeah. 
Hey, you, you enjoying the beat? You enjoying the beat? Yeah. yeah. It's really nice, isn't it? Her and I, her and I go into the water, and the water's freezing here. So yeah. she's the only one that she's pulling me into the water. So okay, well, if you come back frozen, let us know. And, okay, uh, bye. Bye, guys. See you hey, in the morning. Bye. 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 Watch out for the shrinkage. <laughs> 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 oh boy isn't she adorable yeah she amazing. really is what an amazing kid hmm. so what are you all doing for uh for memorial day because as you can see it's uh it's, it's not doing it, anything and i'm it's, not a, it's 100 degrees where i am right now so really oh, yeah wow. okay oh, yeah, it is very hot in california yeah uh, this is the hottest we've had all year and we got a pool and i'm going to avail myself of it shortly <laughs> where, where, did I, where did I read it was 100 sec, Sacramento 108 degrees probably yeah that sounds about right now I used to work in Sacramento I know Sacramento gets very hot but it never got up to 108 degrees oh it does now <laughs> um, I think we broke records for cold I think we broke records for cold the last yeah, yeah I think so yeah. oh really yeah, yeah, yeah we, we were here last night. last night we were in the 40s yeah it was cool yeah. Oh, here comes Marjorie. Well, the she rain is holding our temperatures down. Marjorie forgot. She's in the same house with the guy who <laughs> and she forgot. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Oh, is she all hopped up on champagne? What? <laughs> is she all hopped up on champagne? Oh, she's all hopped up on champagne because her girlfriend called her. What are you talking about? <laughs> First of all, we're saying that it was amazing that you could forget that I was doing a show. So I was do... talking on an hour with my friend. Yeah. And I forgot. You forgot. And but you're in the same house with the guy doing the show. How can you forget? <laughs> Have you seen how large your she house is, Alex? <laughs> she didn't see anyone in the green room, so she figured it was canceled. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, when we get when we get evicted from this apartment and we're in one bedroom, you'll be able to remember to do it because I'll be doing the show in the same room as you. Yeah. I recommend going for the double wide, Alex. The double wide. <laughs> so, Marjorie, you see your tennis player got dropped out of the French Open. Yes. Better completed. Who? The Asian girl. She dropped out. She finished the first yeah, she round. She dropped she out because it's today. How huh? she quit today? Why? Yeah. Because they were forcing her or trying to, do to force her to do those interviews. Yes, post press conferences. Wow. You know something? She may be a hero for that. Yep. Well, you know. Um, uh, well, I mean, I you know I listen to the sports shows, and all the callers are like, "Well, how dare she?" It was I written in the hear, contract. I couldn't care less about hearing any sports star talk after a game. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I thought that was all voluntary. I thought that was all voluntary yeah. anyway. No, it's in their contract. Really? Because it's so important to hear her go, well, I played very well. Oh, I played horribly today. Oh, I played. Who cares? Yeah, I see a lot of things you would write in the contract, like you promised to show up on time. You'll be penalized if you do this. You'll be penalized. I won't gamble but, on my match. How about you, that? You know? But you have to do the interview. Yep. Sure. I mean, she's claiming, isn't she, that it was it was bad for her uh, mental emotion? health? Mental health, yeah. Mental, oh, mental health, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, I think it must be horrible. And then, the, and then the tennis association is like, well, that gives her an unfair advantage over the ones who have to talk. Huh? Oh, God. What Wait, that how's mean? that? <laughs> She's going to play better if she doesn't have to talk. Well, because it's not fair to the people who have to talk. Oh, well, well they don't have then to what talk. they're admitting is having to talk may make you a worse player. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, no, because, you know, it's it's pushing the game. When I have to listen to, you know, Chrissy Everett tell me how wonderful she is. Yeah. Or the guy who won the Indy 500 yesterday. Well, who was or, it? Was somebody like Federer that came forward and said, oh, it's a great thing to be able to do this for the, uh, for the, the, the tennis people. And I went, are you sucking dick here? <laughs> you know the fans want to hear me because i'm so important 
Yeah, and then they all say the same thing. Oh, the other guy was great, you know. Well, I, and, think, and, I yeah. think in the case of uh, Serena recently, didn't she start crying when they asked her about it after she lost the match? Right. Yeah, yeah, but, well, but that's, that's what they want. That's yeah. what they but want. That's what there's. What this it's woman is to to, It's hard to talk to a person after a hard fought match because yeah. it's all the weeks of training that have built up inside. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, played, they for, you played a they match look. for four hours, and ten minutes later, you've got to talk to these yahoos who right. are reporters. Exactly. They seem like entirely different skills playing well, tennis I, and I, being interviewed. It right? was, yeah. and it's an emotional ride too. Well, I think that everything a reporter needs to know, okay, uh, the about sure. the match is in the match itself. You want, right. you know. Well, how did you How did you feel when you lost? Oh. <laughs> Not too good. Terrific, because right. I can go home and get out of this fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, I could take my million dollars and go home. Yeah, right. I made I made so much money anyway. You know, don't don't guys like Federer and so on get paid a lot of money just to show up? <laughs> just to oh, show just... up. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. You know, or like the guy who let's say at the US Open last week came in third, still got seven hundred and fifty thousand mm. dollars. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna throw this out there as a non-tennis fan. I will tell you this. The uh tennis players that I appreciated were guys like like John McEnroe or uh, Andre Agassi. I like the personalities. So I can kind of see why the tennis organization would like to get people's personalities out there a little bit more because I think that would get more traction. They do. It sells brands. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But, yeah, but, people, with, but people with depressive personalities who don't want to do it shouldn't have to do it. They, yeah. They, they, I mean, McEnroe's, McEnroe was a natural, right? He loved doing it. He loved the attention. Yeah, so, yeah, he was a great. You deal. know, Charles Barkley, who is not the greatest basketball player, has made a 30-year career out of his post-career because he was yep. talkative. Yep. It's, I do the opposite. They pay me not to show up. They go, please. <laughs> yeah, me too. And it's, it's driving me <laughs> broke, Andrew. All right, everybody. How much are we going to collect so we can make so Andrew doesn't show up next week? <laughs> <laughs> Have Venmo. <laughs> Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I mean, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's actually uh, you know um, uh, I I'm with her all the way. I mean, I think she's a hero for doing it, and uh, uh, I think. But the sports fan doesn't find it that way because they want to hear or hear, see yep. her cry or whatever. But the know? next uh, the next match is the uh, new, uh, the, the New York uh, Open, right? The, no, no, the Wimbledon. 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 I'll bet when it gets to Wimbledon, they won't force anybody to do it because they want to look good. Mm. No, they will. They will. You, it, I mean, and also, you're doing it now by Zoom because the reporters aren't in the room with the players anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's basically what we're looking at right now. I have another okay so again not knowing anything about tennis is there a chance this gal is doing this as a stunt to get even more publicity no she's in the top she's in the top three in the world she doesn't need yeah she doesn't need this crap in yeah. fact, right. in fact she doesn't want to be going through this, this is maybe her desire not to get as much but they publicity. did show the the point a few years ago when they when they interviewed her after a loss and she was just a teenager and she was crying and it was sad, you know, and that's what she was rebelling against. And, and rightfully so. She doesn't want to be put on display, choice. especially when she loses. And she was young. She was a teenager, Alex. Yeah. And Mike, Mike, the, the idea of tennis, just think ping pong standing on the table. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my question is, is uh, if she had stayed in. OK, so I'm going to do the interviews. Okay. Well, they were finding her. Yeah, if I but she around. did an interview. She did an interview at the net after the game. So when did she quit after that interview at the net? Oh, today. Well, no, she quit. I no, she didn't quit yesterday. She just refused yesterday. No, she didn't refuse. She had an interview at the net. She yeah. had. She spoke after the match, and then didn't want to talk to this group of nine. You know, get just sit down at the table and then answer questions. Uh, however, you know, how do you feel in the 
the third point in the second match. How does it feel about losing? Yeah. So, I mean, she didn't want to do that. So they fined her $15,000 and said she would be uh, thrown out thrown out if she did it again or something. And today, I guess she just said, I quit. That's it. I'm not going to put up. With it. Yeah, I'm going now, home. Now, had she not done that, Marjorie, since you're our. our I haven't teacher. heard that yet. Yeah. Oh, well, we don't want to ruin it. For you. <laughs> the, the fact that they, they Spoiler she, alert. <laughs> I don't think we're spoiling anything. We say she didn't play. Uh, oh, no, she wasn't scheduled to play today. Yeah, but I mean, how do you feel about that, Marjorie? I mean, she do you think that if she hadn't done that, do you think there was a good chance she could have won the French Open? Well, she's good enough to, absolutely. So it's really their loss, not hers. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's that good. She's in the top five, maybe the top three. Where is she from again? Japan. Japan, okay. So, I mean, you know, and now you have all this gambling in sports. So that was another reason. Well, we need to speak to the players so the gamblers don't, you know, oh, come on. He, 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 well, I mean, <coughs> isn't this the thing about sports that you and I have complained about for the longest time, Rick, that it's all in service to the gamblers? Well, it wasn't until there's legalized gambling. There was, you know, in Vegas or wherever. But now, you know, you turn on one of the sports radio stations, 80% of the ads are for one of the gambling sites. Mm-hmm. Well, where, you know, Rick is going to give you his big winner for the day. Yeah, but prior to that, I think it also was playing the gambler because what he did was, oh, look who's here. Uh, he. Um, well, they're looking for an advantage. No, no, but before that, hello, Mandy. And I bet hey, you're Mandy. home too. Hello. You're wow. home, right? What? You're home, right? I am not at home. I'm at my mom's house. So I kind of got sidetracked with chatting with my mom, uh-huh. who is a very hardcore liberal. You love my mom. I think she's your age. I won't put her on camera because she's lounging <laughs> on her bed right now. I'm sitting on her bed with her. <laughs> but she's like, yeah, get on your call. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, very nice. Uh, anyway, we're talking about uh, the... Uh, uh, the player, the, the tennis player who quit today because she doesn't want to do after show interviews. Who Who is that? Uh, what's your name? Asaka. Asaka. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very big player, you know. Uh, and he doesn't look that big to me. He's a little Japanese girl. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> In my house, the French opens when I get the Perrier water open. Yeah. <laughs> Good guys. But, but I. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, uh, I, I just think that, that uh, oh where sports is concerned you were talking about yeah because the gambling is now legal and blah 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 but the fact was even before that it was done for the gamblers because the gambling was all being done in your pools at the office and, yeah uh, you know or in the back people. room at the candy store yeah you know but i mean that <laughs> that the the whole thing and the way in which sports are uh, you know regulated and so on are all in service of the gambling you know so you know i imagine what do they want from her just to talk so that everybody goes you know or like again serena a couple of years ago when she lost and she's in tears at the post interview is that fair to her i don't care how much you know what i hate is when the news when there's a news story and there's some woman they're interviewing uh, who uh, whose son just got killed in the, by some drive-by shooter or something, and she starts crying. Oh. They keep the camera on her. If mm. they were decent, they would say, "Okay, cut it. I don't want to put this on the air." Yeah. You know. But it, and always and no, he was a wonderful boy who never got in trouble. Mm-hmm. So why at three a.m. in the morning was he parked on the side of the road yeah. where some other car came up and sh- you know shot the guy in the head? So do you have any drive-by shootings in your part of the world, Mandy? <laughs> oh, she got to turn her mic on. Sorry. No. Uh, yes. I mean, yeah. uh, not really in my neighborhood, but mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, in Atlanta, gosh, there's all kinds of crazy things that happen well, in Atlanta. In, in, in Scott's neck of the woods, you can uh, buy a gun by sneezing. <laughs> in, September. in September. In September. You have to wait till September. I wait. Why yeah. until September? It's less dangerous in September to start this uh, than it, it is now. Effect. I'm really 
really don't know why September. You know, if you need a gun, you need a gun. Maybe all the gun <laughs> dealers have to order their stock. So we have enough guns in stock. Oh, well, they need the bullets. They got to order bullets. Mm. This is also Charlie's part of the world is Texas. Boy, yep. that, and, and also they tried, didn't they, Charlie, to ruin the whole uh, way you vote? In yeah. Texas. yeah. But it didn't yes, pass. Yes, Al, it's it, a it, pass in Texas. No, it, it? it didn't pass. No, no the Democrats walked out last night. Ah, oh, good. So it didn't oh, that pass. just postpones it. So yeah, oh, oh. Too bad that didn't happen in Georgia. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, are they trying to change the voting laws in Georgia because well, they did do some crazy yeah. stuff. Do it right? already. They were the yeah. first state. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, no, they weren't the first state, but uh, uh, they, you know, because they were in the center of that whole controversy. So they were the right. first state, Alex. What they were the first state to pass the. What, 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 yeah. Yeah. what you have in Georgia is interesting. You have basically a Democratic uh, constituency and a Republican, <coughs> uh, oh, yeah. uh, you know, executive branch. It's crazy. You know, yeah, uh, Dave Abrams should be our governor right now. It's, well, uh, you look at Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, uh, she's the world she is. She's <laughs> did you see? In Georgia, there's somebody selling the same exact stars that the Jews had yes. in Germany, but it says not vaccinated. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. You can get a five dollar patch that looks like what they put the, on the yeah, Jews. yeah, a yeah. yellow and, Jewish and star. Trucker, yeah, trucker hats also. Oh, embarrassing. So disgusting. That is that is embarrassing. I did you hear her latest. She I said the not, Marjorie Taylor Greene said the Nazis were the National Socialist Party. And she said, now the Democrats are the National Socialist Party. Oh. I mean, how, just, how can they allow her to stay? Money. She's raising money. That's why. She every, time she does, money. Money. every time she opens her mouth, she raises millions of dollars. Well, since Trump can't get on Twitter, they got Gates and her doing it for them. Yep. For them. If they, if Marjorie Taylor Greene and the, what's the guy Manchin, what's his first name? Matt Gates. Gates. Matt Gates. No, 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 I'm talking about Manchin. Marilyn Manson? <laughs> Charles Manson? Charles? No, no. Manson. Joe. Oh, Joe, Joe Manson. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene and Joe Manchins got together and uh, created a bill. Would it be the Joe Manchins? I mean, the. Uh, oh, gee. Don't be mute, Alex. Let's edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be called the Green Mansions? Uh, Thank you very much, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Be here all week. <laughs> God, did I fuck that? Be the haunted house, <laughs> the haunted mansion. Well, I took my, I took my nice pill last night. I've been bouncing in the walls all day, and I can't do punchlines on time. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sun is finally out after three days. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. But it's still in the low sixties, though. So it's yeah. still not it's warm. Strange, oh, it's no. a strange thing, and I'm sure only. Only Rick will care about this. So the rest of you can go get coffee. Right? <laughs> Today, guess what we did? We went to Instacart. To, be quiet, <laughs> we went to Instacart, and they said, oh, you have all the different stores you can order from. And one of them was Stu Leonard's. Really? Now, the only Stu Leonard's that we have close to us is up in Yonkers. There's one where you are, how far out? 15 minutes tops. Yeah, yeah but out in Queens. Well, uh, it's Nassau. Yeah, it's Nassau. It, it allows us to order from Stu Leonard's. So we what? ordered from Stu Leonard's. They, we ordered- Like at from, one o'clock. No, noon, I think. And what happened was they said- uh, Between three well, and five delivery. Between three and five. Okay, and I forget, oh, well, that's, that's right, because I gotta go all the way to Yonkers and I got all the way back. <laughs> It was here within an hour. So obviously it didn't right. have to go to Stu Leonard. So where the How did they Stu Leonard is this? Explain Stu Leonard. What is Stu Leonard? I was about to ask. Please it's tell me. Supermarket, isn't it? It's a supermarket. Oh, but it's a but, gigantic. And they only sell about 250 products. Really? Really? No, they sell more than that. No. They sell no. Lots of Stu Leonard's no. with Stu Leonard's name on it. No, they, they have a can we call it a curated list of what they sell in the store? Hmm. Oh, oh, you mean the for the for the delivery? No, no, no. It's in, the, in the store. 
they only store. had they have a limited but, number of items. I couldn't believe it. It got it. It's got to be they've got a warehouse or something in Manhattan. It's a warehouse <laughs> in the Bronx, probably up at Hunts Point. Yeah. yeah, we got delivery in an hour after we put the order in. Yeah. We got our I mean, do they have special stuff y'all like there or something? Oh, it, they make their own potato chips. Oh. Potato and their chips? own crab cakes. And their and own, their own crab sausage. And, oh. and what else what did we else do we order from? The breakfast sausage. The breakfast sausage. Oh, so good. I mean, it's amazing. The it, crab it, cakes. Apparently they didn't have to go up to Stu Leonard's to get it. But no, it's probably in Hunts the Hunts Point market. And you know. You're probably right. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Hunts, Hunts Point is the perfect place. And it's, you know, that's 20 minutes from you, if that much. Yeah. You know. oh, okay. Well, that's why where they went. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but, it's right over the Tribar Bridge. No, no, but you or can't. The you Robert can't, F. Kennedy Bridge. But you can't go there. <laughs> you can't go there to get something, right? No. 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 Okay. All right. No. So Do you have to be a member or something? Handles no. Yeah. Different no. supermarkets. Here's the thing about it. It's, yeah, it's like path. Costco's. It's the path you go down. No, Stu Leonard, you don't have to be a member. No. It's a no. path you go down, right? And they have, it's a path, literally a path. So There's you, no way of backing up. There's no way of turning around. Oh, no. My, mine has, <laughs> has little cutouts. Yeah, you can cut yeah, out where they are. Too. You can go yeah. back. But basically, yeah, it's this path, yeah. and it's everything. And, and you they do have up, those. You pass the same product two or three times. Like, they're trying to really sell it to you. you know? <laughs> uh, but it, it's, a, it's an interesting store. And the produce, the stuff they do under their own name is terrific. I mean, it's really good. Yeah. You know, a very good seafood counter, very good meats. Oh, the their, their and, crab cakes are all crab cakes. And yet they haven't opened up anywhere. They, they haven't been making mass inroads into opening up places. Well, that's probably why they're still in business as opposed to, let's say, Fairway. Yeah, that's, yeah, why, look that's, at Fairway. Why, that's why by now any other company would have a Stu Leonard's in Georgia, for instance, where you are. And it's, uh, mm -hmm. so, so this is a new place? No, this no. It goes back to the '30s. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it was a, it was originally a milk barn. A milk, and barn? then the father started adding products to quote the milk barn. Okay, produce and other stuff. Okay, and I imagine his name was Stu Leonard. Yes, and then he went really. To you think <laughs> <laughs> he went to prison for tax evasion for several uh, years. Oh, the really? father. Yeah, Stu Leonard, the original. The original. Yeah. And they got a great meat department. I mean, the meats there, every time Marjorie brings back some nice thick steaks, they are to die for. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I assume it's the New York thing. How many how many outlets would they have? Are they all over the place? <laughs> only, three like four? Them. only three of them. No, they have um, two it in says there's Connecticut, seven of them. Oh, one do. in the Yonkers, two on Long Island. They got them in Connecticut. Good. Connecticut too. Two in Connecticut. Yeah. Okay. There's none in Manhattan, right? No. No. And they should open in Manhattan. They'd be they be if people would go. The property is too expensive now. It's too expensive. Yeah. You know, the one I go to is in basically a strip mall. You yeah. know. Is is and, and Yonkers now that they deliver to us, it's great. Yeah. That's good. That's good. We only have five people watching. Is I got more people here than are watching? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Once I put this up on YouTube, though, all of a sudden, it, uh, a we need to talk to you. I got a Zoom Inside camera room. on my computer now. You got what? I, I, I've I've uh, bumped up my uh, my place in the world. I got my uh, company got me a Zoom camera for my computer. Yeah. Oh wow. Have, it wouldn't have to be on my phone, but here's the dilemma. If I do it at work and I'm using Zoom on my computer, I can't really yeah. work. Like <laughs> I do it now. But, so, you know. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that you you uh, put your job in jeopardy every week. <laughs> you guys are my friends. Yeah. So you, like, I, I feel like I got to talk to you all every week now. Yeah. Well, we love you. We love you. Same here. <laughs> yeah. The, the, did, you, uh, did you darken your hair? No. Yeah. Well, I did. Yeah. I got it touched up. Oh, okay. It looks, yeah. Looks different. <laughs> yeah, you, I got it. I got it. I got my, you know, six week checkup. <laughs> <laughs> just, just tell your boss, Mandy, that it's an AA meeting, an Alex Anonymous meeting, and you'll be fine. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
He keeps us from drinking for an hour. Uh, did you? <laughs> I can't remember. Did you have COVID hair? Does he? No, I. Um, well, the very beginning of it, I got like drugstore stuff. But the lady that does my hair, she was pretty good. Like okay. she just has a little. So in other words, what we're saying is you were willing to put your life in danger for your hair. Absolutely. <laughs> Every woman has that, Alex. Every woman. Yeah. Because you, you have, Yeah, she, you she has like her single little place. So I had just happened to get my hair done right before everything shut down. So I was good for like six or eight weeks. And then yeah. she that was around the time she well, when I first met Marjorie, she had really curly hair. And mm -hmm. now it's not that curly, is it? Yes, it is. It's kind of, well, it's kind it's of, pulled back now. She just has a pulled back. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that she had blue eyes till we talked about it the other day. That's how <laughs> what? It just, you also didn't know that we were married in March. You thought it was August. I know. I I knew it was in March. <laughs> you thought it was August. March twenty seventh. When that Good lawyer time. asked you, only because you had tickets for a movie on that Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> The Ides of March. Uh, 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 no, but uh, well, he, they asked me in this uh, deposition, what day were you married? And I couldn't remember. It says August. I said August, I think, sometime in August. And uh, the, the female lawyer for one of the other participants looks over at Marjorie and goes, man. She, she <laughs> the elbow. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, true you know what you do you remember things that I, I just don't put on my calendar but then I'll find them on my calendar because she puts them on there <laughs> you know, like an invite. and it's like celebrating the second date we went on no. <laughs> and I'm going why are we celebrating the second date we ever that's had not on your calendar and you know that <laughs> was it the but same day we, ki we kissed for the first time was the second date no <laughs> third, third month third month third month wow really? i thought i, I think you i kissed me at the subway station i, I was think, going no, i think i kissed you coming out of a um, a toy, what was that store that had all the party favors and stuff we went into? It was at the subway station on Sixth Avenue. Really, you were all this and that time? was after three months. Wow, yeah, Dang. you're a fast <laughs> worker there, Alex. He's a mover. <laughs> but they say they say that's good that you He's shouldn't kiss right away. That is true. <laughs> and Mandy says it's good, good wine. You know, I'm like an expert on dating, you know. <laughs> I watch a lot of TikTok and there's a lot of dating <laughs> advice on TikTok. I've gotten into that algorithm TikTok? on TikTok. Oh, no. um, but they say that you shouldn't kiss anybody for like three months or something. Wow. That's a when, long time. That's what I've been doing wrong. When you got <laughs> yeah, they always want to kiss Andy, on the first when? date. Three months from when? Like the first date. Like you, you know. Of the first date. But everybody wants to kiss on the first date wouldn't the blood test be quicker yeah <laughs> here's my papers <laughs> wow jeez oh, huh? that, yeah. hmm? that yeah. seems that seems like a long time it yeah. does i didn't realize it was three months but i i will go with your reading of it because well, this is probably just one person's opinion. So, so all the other fun, all the other fun stuff is immediate, but you got to wait three months for a kiss. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. just I've been out of the dating market for a long time. That whole married thing gets in the way. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, we we did everything else, and then one night, nice day, I said, uh, "Gee, now that I think about it, I've forgotten to kiss you." <laughs> Look at three that. months. <laughs> oh man. But well, was it worth it, Marjorie? Was it's it worth the wait? <laughs> <laughs> we're still here. Yeah, yeah, we were we were both getting along in years, so any kiss would be good. <laughs> well, the last think, chapter. What did you What did you tell your girlfriends about me once we started dating? Last chapter. This is the last is that, chapter. Is that oh, the only <laughs> way you look at it? <laughs> the final destination. Everyone has the last chapter. <laughs> This is it. This is your death date? This is the last chapter. Wow. 
Oh, man. This you know, I often, I often said the reason I didn't have a cat these days. I had cats all my life, and the reason I haven't had a cat in the last 15 years, <laughs> six, 20 years, I don't know how many, how long it's been, is because I don't want an animal that's going to look at me and go, you know, I'm probably going to be here long after you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> And that's, why, that's, why, that's why at this time I didn't hook up with a younger woman <laughs> uh, because I didn't want her looking at me every day going, you know, someday I'm, gonna go, but I'm still going to be here. Yes, darling. Yes, sweetheart. <laughs> yes, sweetheart. You know, but, but she and I, she, but Marjorie says she's going before me. That's, I'm what? You said you're going before me. I want to go before you. You want to go before me. And then you'll have everything to deal with. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, I'm getting a little slow on stuff. You know, I can't even remember where the bathroom We've is. We've noticed <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's been evident, Alex. What a wonderful marriage this has been. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's lasted. Yeah. yeah. 11 Shecky, years. Shecky was with us right after we got married. Like yeah. hours, within hours. Yeah, he, we, she, he, we met him in San Francisco because we were going to go see Napoleon, a, a, a performance of Napoleon with a live orchestra. It's a silent movie. Five mm -hmm. and a half hours, four and a half, four, five and a half. Wow. Yeah, five and a half, I think. Yeah. With, a, with a, a, a lunch break and a dinner break. And by the way, you think a four and a half, a five and a half hour silent movie would be pretty boring. How boring was it, Marjorie? It was great. It was fantastic. It was incredible. Just incredible, especially when you have a live orchestra playing mm -hmm. the music to the movie. And it was just like a, a square box. And then the last part, they opened up the other two curtains. And it's and like like what Cinerama it, was. It, yeah. Wow. They, did, was, it, they, they did it at Radio City Music Hall. So I saw yes, it but there. the problem was there. They used the Francis Ford, uh, Francis, uh, what was Francis? The father's Ford. score. Father's Carmen, father's Coppola's, father. Carmen Coppola's right. score. And, and by the way, they had to get permission to allow this score to be done by uh, Davis. Carl Davis. Carl Davis, who does wonderful movie scores for silent films. And he did the one for this, which you can find somewhere online. It's great. Really just a great score. And to hear this whole orchestra, it just at the end, it just, it just, you, at the end, your heart sinks. I mean, you, it's just amazing. Mm. Plus, it was a great theater, the one in Oakland. Open Paramount is yeah. that? Or what Paramount, was that? yeah, yeah. Get, but getting back to the original story, so that's why we met him in San Francisco, and I think we met at the Disney Museum. He, that's where yes, we, that's our yes. Meeting. I got off the airplane, got a car, and drove to the Disney Museum. And Marjorie and I said, "Guess what?" And the first thing out of Shecky's mouth was, "You got married." <laughs> <laughs> you figured that was going to happen, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then you couldn't call her girlfriend anymore. I used to love that, how she was a serious oh, yeah. being. You just call, you just said girlfriend. I think I still you, kind of call her girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. No, you did on the radio show for several years afterwards. Yeah. I yeah. remember it. You know where I got girlfriend from? Better than wife. You know where I got girlfriend from? Meryl Marco. What? Because mm. once when I was talking to her, she referred to Dave as, well, I don't tell boyfriend stories anymore. And so I, all of a sudden, I said, yeah, well, whoever I'm going with, I should call girlfriend, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that way they're easily replaceable or? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, Marjorie. She was just like this mysterious, you know? Right. Yeah. I usually yeah. end with, uh, if you see her, tell her I love her. That's my. Oh, yeah, I love that yeah. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I, Marjorie always thought I was saying it about her. And I've <laughs> I've been using that for years. Mm -hmm. Don't spoil once, it. once I had there a goes the myth. Well, I thought it was about Marjorie because I well, wasn't listening to you all before. Yeah, me too. Well, I always yeah. was I. I always used to. Um, uh, I always wanted to have a good sign off, right? And I kept using a whole bunch of different ones, and they weren't. They were so so. Well, you used Namaste for years. Yeah, for Namaste right. here in New York for years, which is. I see the God within you in, in Indian, but now if I said it, you'd get COVID. But anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, I was always looking for a good one, you know, and then one day I was, I'd broken up with somebody 
And I just said, if you see her, tell her I love her. And after it was over, I went, that's good. Mm. So I kept doing that no matter whether I was seeing anybody or not seeing anybody. I just felt it was like, good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are, to Jimmy Durante, and nobody knew who Mrs. Calabash was. Uh, and uh, everybody said, oh, okay, tell her I love her. Who is it? And I said, just whoever I'm going with at the time. And when I met Marjorie, she said, that's so sweet you say goodbye to me on the air. <laughs> and because, hey, what? I, because I was trying to get late at the time, I went, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> hey, what years did you say namaste? Oh, God. When I was here in New York the first time, right? When the I first time. There. So, like, way early on. So, yeah, you when said I was, namaste. When I was God, here. Alex, that is like the, 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 the identity that you have in your career is that you did so many things before they became cool. I mean, you say namaste now, it sounds like, oh yeah, we're all going to yoga. It's like such mm -hmm. a big word now. Well, I also used, then, nobody yeah. would have been well, I got, Today is the first day of the rest of your life. That's right, he <laughs> remembers that. Uh, I remember and I, that, that became, I mean, where did where did you get it from? Because that was huge, but the, you well, were the first I, place I, I ever heard it. I got it from some vague place that published it. And I said, what a great idea, you know? Yeah. Uh, so I used that. I used Namaste, and and then uh, I, I can't remember. Was there anything else I used? Those are the two that I remember from. Yeah, the and then uh, then I I I then I did. Uh, if you see her, tell her I love her. You know, which I always felt was the best of them. I did. I agree. Even though I didn't know, I didn't know you signed off with today is the first day of the rest of your life. I mean, that's that is a. I thought a very famous saying. You well, yeah. now it is. Then it wasn't. It was not. It was not. I remember yeah. when it became big. Yeah. I was thinking, how did that get big? But Alex used to say that at the end of every show. You know what happened? I got rid of it when it got big. Mm. And then I went to ah. Nine Day and I got rid of that when it got big. I didn't yeah. want to be associated with anything. And nobody now, if you see her, tell her I love her, has never gotten big. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, but I've heard of that before. I've totally heard that phrase before. What? What? The, 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 the last day of the rest of your or today's oh, yeah. first day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's a nice sentiment, you know. So Marjorie, you weren't aware of him on the radio before you met him? No, I never heard of him. Wow. <laughs> That's why I found her interesting. Yeah. Well, well yeah. but I was a waitress at Max's and probably served him because he sat in the back. Right. And that's where I, I waited. Had a hellish relationship with a fan for about a <laughs> year. And I said, no more fans. Mm. In fact, she didn't even know who I was and had to find out what I did. You know, interesting. Uh, it, it was was kind of it, it, that that was attractive to me. Did you was, listen to him then after you guys after, got together? After, yeah. yeah. And and I just put like one earphone in and while well, I'm working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, it, 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 there was an advantage in not knowing who I was. How'd you find out about me, Mandy? Or did you just find me? Oh, I just used to listen to Sirius Left. And um, when I got a car that had um, XM radio in it, so I started listening mm -hmm. to Sirius XM Left. And then just on my morning drive to work, you were always on in the morning. Yeah, that was a good little show. Yeah. You don't know how many I loved it. I, yeah. I listened to you when I drove back and forth to, to work from in the 80s on KITS and, and then the, the Quake. And I mean, Four, you know, three or four hours a day, you would talk at me, you know, and now I get to talk to you, and that's really I know, really that's how I cool feel. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, I did take calls occasionally. Yeah, I don't think I ever called. I did sit in the studio audience. I went to supper with Schwarzman. Oh, I went to really? breakfast with Bennett. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those suppers with Schwarzman were spectacular. They were amazing. Did you, do, did you come to the Fairmont for it? Yeah, uh, yeah, you, exactly. The, yeah. the Asian Room is one of these... Uh, we used to do a Christmas show, and it was called Supper with Schwarzman, and we had a full orchestra, and we did it at the Fairmont Hotel in the Venetian Room, where my yep. father had played as a musician. That's and, so cool. And, uh, and so it was kind of cool for me, and it's a beautiful, you know, it's a beautiful, it's a nightclub, it's a, how do we describe it? Yeah, it's very Art Deco, Venetian, like it's beautiful. Yeah. And you had, you had Buddy Love, I think, was there, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, that guy. He sang and, with the group. We didn't have that band until we... And then yeah, and Slayton would show up and Bob Rubin and, uh, you know, and, and Pearl and all those guys. 
It was, it was a great. Good, and what it was, it was a good old fashioned 40s radio show. It was because during the breaks, you know, when you're doing commercials, you know, you could see all the behind the scenes stuff. It was very cool. Yeah. But, um, um, you know, it come, came out of my love for, I mean, I want to do a show like that every day. I didn't want yeah. to have a studio audience with me. I wanted that ba little band to be playing too. Sure. Uh, because it all goes back to my love of when I first listened to radio. That's classic old radio that just died. Yeah. It, and you, 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 you know, we, we got to have a few, you know, a few years of it, you know, with you in the eighties and then it really died. <laughs> Well, I, I think it's sad what's happened to radio, you know, because I think it's a, it was at one point the greatest visual medium we ever had. Yeah. People say, well, but it was only audio. Yeah, that was a great part about it. The visual yeah. came in your mind, you know, and you didn't have to see what people look, you know, what people looked like. Or what it, you, you put it into your own imagination. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, my stepdad used to tell me about what, listening to radio shows and yeah. how he he just loved him when he was a kid. Well, you got, when, when I was a kid, especially, you got sucked into, you know, they became mm -hmm. a part of your life, you know. So my whole vision of doing radio, even up until uh, Sirius XM, was that, you know, that I, I, I think of it as a visual medium. And uh, uh, it, uh, you know. Uh, I remember you know, as a child sitting around the radio and listening to it. Yeah. The family sitting around the radio. Yes, kids, if you're listening, we used to sit there and watch a radio. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Mom, did you do that? What? Did y'all sit around and watch a radio? Still tell them to sit around and watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did y'all sit around and listen? Sit around. I, mean, I don't know. You don't remember? <laughs> I, just, I used to, uh, well, you know, a lot of. Roll around on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> she says she used to roll around on the floor. In front of her. <laughs> how old? Well, can I ask how old your mother is? My mom just turned eighty-one. She's same age as I am. Yeah, no, yeah. I told her that. Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, she'll tell you that getting old ain't, ain't easy. Anyway, know. it's like Eddie Davis, I know. Eddie Davis said, <laughs> "Getting old ain't for sissies." Am I right? right. About that? <laughs> Eddie Davis said that. Eddie Davis. Yeah. yeah, she posts funny memes about that on Facebook. But anyway, she's the same age I am, so she heard radio the way I heard. Mm -hmm. I mean, she may have been rolling around on the floor. That was another way of listening. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, but you know, like uh, my wife's really into. She likes. Uh, she follows fashion, and she loves fashion. And and she has a saying that she says everything comes back around. It just comes back with a twist. And I think that radio thing that you're talking about that 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 communal experience is coming back with no. podcasts i mean no. i know friends no. that will listen to no. audio it shows. doesn't come back with podcasts because most podcasts are pre-recorded and they have no yeah. uh, they don't have that immediacy of yeah it's such right. a and there's such a particular niche there with the radio there's coming out of your car your bedroom that's you know, why i do all of my podcasts originally live is because what you're hearing right now is happening right now yeah yeah. But uh, I, I, you know, I did do, I have done a bunch of podcasts that I pre recorded, like my life story, but I don't feel it has the same impact. You know, it really doesn't have the same impact as yeah. the kind of radio we're talking about is gone. It will never come back. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, podcasting isn't radio, podcasting is a bane on humanity. So, anyway. no, thank you. I, I love a good podcast. Well, thank you. There's a few. There's a few good ones. <laughs> and the problem is there's there's nobody doing a podcast. It's like a dramatic radio radio show like the old stuff. It's topical. It's people yeah, talking not, about though. and there's radios no become a right wing echo chamber with, yeah. with repeat or or the same seven songs played over and over again. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I said um um yeah, yeah. But, well, you know, it's not true though. Like, like we talked about, uh, we began this talking about Neil Gaiman and the project that he's doing. Well, Neil Gaiman did Sandman, and he's got an audio version of Sandman that they're working on right now to release that, and it's going to be released as a podcast. And and but it's it's essentially a radio show, like back in the day. It's just not live. Yeah, mm. yeah. Well, that's it's getting retro. You know, that's getting retro. The, you know, I do understand the delivery system is a different delivery system today. Radio is a great delivery system, but this is a delivery system that's democratic, that anybody 
can put something up for that delivery system. Yep. And, yeah. you know, so I like the democracy of it. You know, that and I there's no, no FCC sitting there, you know, telling you what you yeah. can say. Yeah. It's also <laughs> ironic, Alex, because you kind of sort of invented the podcast. No, I didn't kind of sort of invent the podcast. I did invent the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's ironic. No, I actually have the program that was used to do that. We didn't call it a podcast, but you could go to my site with a little app, download the show every day, and come home and it'd be there on your computer and you could listen to it. Well, you know, and that became podcasting. But what year was that? That was in 1990. It was early, like the night. 1998, I think. Wow. Yeah. It's one of the times. What was it called? Alex, what was it called? What was it called? It was called, uh, did we just call it uh, Alex Bennett in Exile? That's what we called That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. But anyway, hey, listen. Oh, man. <laughs> just quickly, I'll that's ask always, we always know when we got to be taken off. Hey, listen. So, what are you doing for me? Gotta go. Oh, wait a minute. I want to ask you a question then, Mandy. What are you doing for? Well, I don't have to ask you what you're doing for Memorial Day or at your mother's place. The day is Memorial Day. You're going to have some, some kind of uh, outdoor cookery or whatever? No, I'm going home and I'm going to spray paint a big metal vase I have. Well, that's, my exciting. that's the way we all like to spend Memorial Day, spray paint <laughs> vase. Yeah. I'm going home vase. to do a DIY project, it's okay? A vase. Anyway, thank you, Mandy. How about you, Shaggy? You're just going to watch some more TV, right? I'm going to watch Call the Midwife. <laughs> How about you, Mike? What's on your agenda? Uh, well, our long weekend was last weekend. That's why I wasn't here. I was golfing. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, uh, today I'm just picking up the final. My wife and I wrote a book together and we're just finishing up with the editor right now. So I'm uh, once, yeah. once this is done, I'm going to jump back into that again. Okay. What's the book about? Do you know? Um, do you know? I hope he knows. <laughs> hope he knows. <laughs> I'm, I'm well aware of what the book is about. Yeah, no, um, we can talk about it later because we're signing off. But my wife and I went through a pretty crazy experience with our granddaughter. Mm -hmm. uh, she went to Children's Hospital a couple of years back or a year and a half back, and uh, the pandemic kind of bloomed around us while we were strangers in a strange land. So it's kind of a personal development book, yeah. her version of it and my version of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. So, okay. yeah, I want to know uh, about that. How about Steve Bender? What are you doing today, Steve? Uh, not, a whole, not a whole lot. We were thinking about figuring out a Memorial Day movie, and we landed probably on MASH, which I was shocked that my wife has not seen. So, And I wow. really haven't seen MASH since 1970. So well, we're ooh, the, the four of us have to get together. We yeah, do. absolutely. You got to. Y'all say that every week. You realize? Well, I, yeah. I'm ready. He's for, coming out to my house every week. Well, I'm yeah. ready to get off the pot. I heard that too. Next, <laughs> if you're not going to be home week after next. I'm coming. My phone's going dead. I'll bring her in next week so you can say hello to her. Okay, great. mom. Can I borrow your charger? Scott, what are you doing? <laughs> are you barbecuing or anything? Oh, me? Yeah, you. Oh, uh, no, we're. Just about ready to get hit by a big storm, so I'm just going to be doing my REO speed wagon and ride it out. <laughs> Charlie, what are you doing? Well, I'm going to watch the Friends reunion, and then <laughs> <laughs> it's boring. Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was so good. Well, I fell asleep twice trying to watch it. What's wrong with it? Wow. Yeah. yeah. I'll let you know. Yeah. Okay. Which one of the friends are you, Rachel? Me? Yeah. See, I, I think know. I'm more like uh, Monica. Monica. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Andrew, thank you. No, I'm probably more like Rachel. What, what are you Rachel. doing today? Me? Yeah. I'm working training my my new puppy, and I just heard my daughter and granddaughter just showed up, so we're gonna cook something. Oh, okay. I can hear him in the other room. How about you, Lynn Lafrit? Joe, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna barbecue some chicken and go out in the pool because wow. it is 99 degrees. You can't see it. <laughs> can't see it. Uh, wow. 99 degrees. Where? 99. Uh, uh, in California. Mar Marjorie, what are we doing for dinner? Um, we're gonna have leftovers. Oh, geez. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought you were making a pot of Leonard <laughs> stew. Isn't that what you? <laughs> Anyway, and so thanks to Shecky, thanks to Mike, thanks to Steve Bender, thanks to <laughs> Oscar, thanks to Charlie Wallace, thanks to Andrew Deutsch, thanks to Lynn Frisco, thanks to Marjorie Miller, and thanks to Mandy. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all being here. And uh, that's it for our little uh, pop-up show. We'll see you on the regular one tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. If you, bye -bye. See Alex, if you see Alex, tell him we love him. No, okay. <laughs>